Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over chemical reactions and why they're important in the field of chemistry. So if you're unsure what a chemical reaction is, basically it is a type of reaction that occurs with chemicals, but one or more substances, the reactants are converted to one or more different substances. So basically in chemistry, there are two types of reaction. There's a physical reaction, there's a chemical reaction. Those are the two main types of reactions that we have. There's differences between the two because with the physical reaction, that is something where you change the physical appearance of that material. And the chemical is where you change the chemical composition. That's why a chemical is much more complex than a physical reaction because we're actually changing the composition of that chemical. And chemical reactions are an integral part of technology of culture and indeed of life itself. And some examples would be burning fuels, as you can see here. Oh, sorry about that. Burning fuels. Even like humans, we do a lot of, we commit a lot of chemical reactions. Smelting iron, making glass and pottery, brewing beer, making wine and cheese, among examples of activities that incorporate chemical reactions. And chemical reactions around abound in the geology of Earth and the atmosphere and oceans and in a vast array of complicated processes that occur in all living systems. For example, when you eat breakfast in the morning, that is a chemical reaction. You digesting that food is a chemical reaction. So that is very important to keep in mind. So let's just go over a historical interview or overview, pardon me. So the concept for chemical reactions dates back about 250 years. And it had origins in early experiments to classify substances as elements and compounds. And development of the concept of a chemical reaction had a primary role in defining the science of chemistry as it is known today. So the first chemical reaction studies actually occurred with gases and the identification of oxygen in the 18th century by Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Schlegel and English clergyman Joseph Price Priestley had particular significance. Basically, they discovered what oxygen is and that led them to do more chemical reaction based experiments. Then we get into um, more chemical reactions isn't just about things changing. It also involves atoms in the development of atomic theory. And much credit goes to English chemist John Dalton, who's postulated his atomic theory early in the 19th century. And all this chemical reaction studies also helped contribute to this historical atomic theory. So that's a basic overview of what chemical changes are. I hope you found this helpful and informative. Thank you.